pre-converts to like an R R one R four yeah R four one R four one. Sure. Okay. One of the, yeah, one of the uh, other issues that we were, we were concerned about um, was the uh, deterioration of the docks. Uh, you may recall last uh, mm -hmm. June, I guess it was. I wrote a letter to uh, DEC about the fact that the docks were deteriorating. Um, George has a very good picture of one of the very significant areas of deterioration. DEC then responded by sending uh, Jamal a very tough letter, uh, basically saying uh, that he was going to be fined to death if they don't uh, fix it up, you know, either remove them or repair them. And it's now uh, October, and uh, nothing seems to have happened. So I called to remind her that she promised that they were going to uh, deal with this. The irony is that DEC is the toughest agency you want to deal with. They have no empathy or sympathy for anyone. And it's hard to understand why he's getting a pass. Uh, Terry is shaking her head like she, she's heard this before. Yeah. A DEC, year ago, DEC, DEC is very, very a tough. A year ago, to DEC said that they were issuing the violations. Where are they? Well, so uh, she promised she would uh, look into it. And when I, told, when I gave her a little dig, I think she... Um, I think she's going to respond. And uh, did you get notice about this, Frank? Did you get an email about Frank? She did. Frank of the uh, White Island? Yes. Okay. Yes. Did you tell Did you mention? No, we haven't mentioned Okay. Well, never, I got an email, like, I guess, those of us who were part of the White Island uh, meetings, that they will be spraying White Island in the next uh, week or two, depending on weather conditions, which is what they told us they were going to do uh, after the uh, after the after the um, recreation season was over, and the uh, this is the time to start spraying for the Phragmites. So we anticipated it, um, and just be aware that it's, it's going to be happening next week or so. Yeah, they said the 14th. Assuming yeah. appropriate wind conditions. Well, they're telling us that they're doing it. They're telling us that they're doing it. They're telling us that they're doing it. Well, they're telling us that they're doing it. 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 They're telling before they can put down the uh, the next uh, the layers of sand, which are going to be covered on the island. They told us they would put up signage to let us yeah. know that it was taking place. The last time this took place, which was basically across the street, we did not see signs. We looked for them. However, the reason for that was that it was much farther back into the weeds than we had anticipated. Right. So. Uh, this is down closer to the nature center area, and uh, I forgot his name, but I was told that they do have signs. Mike Feller. Mike Feller. Right, so Mike. Okay. Anybody? Yes, ma'am. Could you tell me how is the spray and done? I mean, it's that's by aerial. It's uh, you know, it's ground based. What, what a truck or something? I mean? Um, gee, I don't know. <clears throat> I mean, how does it get so back to White Island? Well, they're going to be on the island of trade. I mean, it's not. Uh, so it'll be a truck or something on. I don't the think they're going to put a truck on there, but uh, maybe. Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, we never asked that question. But the the uh, it's a a uh, biodegradable spray. Uh, once it dries, it dries. It's there's no um, there's no kind of uh, uh, implications for human health. This is something. It's um, uh, uh, Roundup. Yeah, right. It's uh, Roundup. It's. Uh, commonly used all, all over. Um, we don't want it getting into the water, uh, so that is limiting them to certain days, uh, weather you know, that can't rain or can't uh, really. I think it's and, sprayed uh, by hand, Alan, if I'm but, remembering. Yeah. They, they walk around but with they, a pad. I don't know, they, I don't know unless they, maybe they have small. Yeah, uh, you know, like they have a back, right. And they, they walk around yeah. like with a lawn. But they can't, they can't do this from very high up. Right. That's about it. Right. Ray Schaefer. We're well, making progress. Last year they did it the week before the rowboat races and never told anybody. Right. The kids were water skiing back then. Well, that's why we had to well, we so we'll make our was progress. Yeah. And well, now the, they the told results, everybody. One of the results of the meeting is that uh, communication is very, very important. Uh, if you don't meet with these people, as I explained to somebody, you need to meet to see the whites of their eyes. You can't do this uh, by telephone calls, by letters. You have to meet with people. And they have to see the intensity of your concerns. And um, I think they've been pretty responsive. We, don't have, we have no complaints uh, about this. Anyone else? I just want to say thank you for showing up Saturday for the Pagan oh. ladies softball game. It was very nice to see you there. Mm -hmm. Sorry that you couldn't stay for the whole thing and the ladies won anyway. I'd also like to make a point. Were you, were you rooting for the pagans or the ladies? The ladies won. He was rooting for the ladies. I certainly was. <laughs> Absolutely. I'd like to make a point that I 
memory serves me was I know who pointed out about the, the water coming off the highway into the creek. And all I did was tell Alan about it, and he jumped right on it. And I tell you, he started calling, saying, let's get out on the boat, let's get out on the boat. That's because I have no life. <laughs> <laughs> so it was done. Thank you, Alan. Okay.